the 4K Corner, it's your boy 4KD Ray bringing you another video, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and at the end of this video, hit that like button. If you've already been rocking with your boy for quite some time now, go ahead and hit that like button because y'all already know what to expect. You guys, I know you was already waiting on that um, Best Buy 4K vlog of Shazam. You guys, I decided not to pick that up. Not that I do not want it. I just know eventually I will pick it up for a really good price. And y'all already know, man, Amazon Prime Day went on for two days, 48 hours of nothing but deals across the board. Y'all can let me know in the comment section if you picked anything up. Um, what I decided was to go ahead and get some movies that's been on my radar for a while. So actually, you can call this a mail day vlog slash viewer's choice because one of the movies is from a viewer that let me know, hey, go ahead and pick it up. It's been on my radar for quite some time, so I decided to go ahead, read some more reviews, think about what he told me, and go ahead and make the move on this one. But nonetheless, man, it's another mail day vlog. Three movies for the price of one. Why I didn't decide to go ahead and get Shazam? Why not go ahead and get three movies instead of one for the same price? Psh, that's a no-brainer. It's really weird how this was set up though you guys because actually two of the movies I ordered on day one which was Monday the second one I ordered on Tuesday so I thought it would come after the first order that I placed on Monday but all three of them came today so shout out to Amazon with that one day shipping that two day shipping and just all the fulfillment centers and stuff they got because they really came through with the package I mean I kind of wanted it in separate packages so I could open it up for you guys but nonetheless man it's all in one so let's go ahead and get into it because i know y'all can't wait to see what it is so y'all can let me know was it worth the pick up and to be honest with you i'm look like y'all already know how i feel about the no slip case versus slip case thing um some of the movies come with it but it may not come with the one you done ordered or once it goes on sale for some reason the slip or slip cover just seems to disappear for some reason i don't know but two of these actually have no slip case, so I'm a little and eh, a little frustrated with that one because it definitely looks different on the shelves not having that slip case to fill some of that space. But nonetheless, you guys, this first one, um, if y'all have been watching my Instagram live, you know me and one of the viewers, we've been talking a lot about, you know, what to expect coming October, where there'll be a lot of 4K um, horror or thriller movies coming to the 4K format. I'm really hoping so. We've got a list of them, Gremlins, um, The Shining, and there's a couple more I can't remember, but there's a few coming in October. I'm hoping some more get released. So I decided to go ahead and get a get one right now. It's a really good price. I paid $8 for it. Um, it was on my radar, but I knew I wasn't going to pay like full price for it or nothing like that. So I seen it, $9.99, 20% off through Amazon. So I said, go ahead and pull the trigger because you need to get your horror collection up. One of my favorite uh, genres. So nonetheless, man, I picked up Sam Raimi's version of The Evil Dead. Like I said, pretty upset that it comes with no slip cover but we'll take it eight bucks can't go wrong y'all see the cover man uh eh, decent cover that's sorry light shining on it but eh, pretty decent cover not too bad i mean i don't like how the effects i guess it's kind of like lightning but it makes it look like the paper's all um shriveled up and just been balled up a little bit but let's take it to the spine man you see the evil dead 4k ultra hd um logo on the on the spine Take it to the back, and we got Dolby Audio, Dolby Vision. Cannot wait to watch it. Um, hopefully, it re looks really, really good. Haven't read any previous reviews about it or anything. Like I said, just wanted to get that horror genre up on my shelf, so cannot wait to put it in down here with the non-slip case move. But moving right along for all you 4K uh, viewers that's been here for quite a while, been rocking with me, y'all already know I have been on the lookout for this one. If you've seen at least my past two videos at Best Buy, I've actually talked about this release and how my wife loved it. I wanted to see it, um, but I was just waiting to pull the trigger. It was actually supposed to be one of the last movies I picked up, but I decided to go ahead and get something else. I think it was when I did the two for 20. I decided to just go ahead and get that and get those instead, because why not get two movies for uh, about three bucks more than what I was going to pay for this one. But another Amazon Prime Day deal. Regular price it was $14.99. They gave 20% off, bringing it to $12. Psh, another no-brainer. But once again, another no-slip case cover. Bam. There it is, man. Atomic Blancher, Charlize Theron, and James McAvoy. Cannot wait to watch this. I know it looks really, really good. I know that sound is out of this world. There goes your front cover. Um, nothing special about it. I'd rather have a steel book, but for 
12 bucks, you can't go wrong. I'm sure it'd be probably cheaper come Black Friday, but that's still a while, so I'm not gonna wait on that for something that I just kind of really want and can go ahead and get now. It makes no sense to me, but there it is. There goes your front cover. Once again, it's still that same blue, just like um, the Evil Dead cover. So a little bit, a little bland to me, a little bit bland, but it's all right. Like I said, I'd rather have a steel book, but you know, we're gonna save a couple bucks. Take it to the spine, you got your Atomic Blonde, and then your 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray logo on the side. And this is by, I believe, Universal. Yes, Universal Films. So it should be a really good transfer, hopefully. Um, DTSX uh, Surround Sound, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos. Wait, no, no Dolby Atmos, just DTSX, DTS. Um, but I've heard great things about this movie. I cannot wait to watch it. I'm either about to watch this or I still ain't opened up my water world and put it in yet. My homeboy Briscoe 5540 says it does phenomenal on his stage with the surround sound. So I might put that in next. I don't know. We'll see. And let's go ahead and round this thing out, you guys. So this last one is what I said we could turn into a viewer's choice because this one actually did kind of come from a viewer. Had my eyes on it for quite some time now. Um, the price never seemed to want to go down enough. Uh, maybe I think the lowest I had seen it from some time was probably, it may have been $19.99, but I really want to say $24. And it always hovered between $24, that $27, and $29.99. Now this movie was shot in 8K and then downscaled down to 4K, bringing it to a native 4K for the 4K uh, format. So I know a lot of people like to say, oh, it's not worth it to get 4K movies unless it is native 4K. I tend to disagree with that. It all depends on your setup, how close you are sitting to your TV, as well as your actual setup that you have. And the shining uh, light to the whole thing is that HDR and Dolby Vision color grading that you get so that's what really separates it from 1080 to 4K. Now, I'm not sure I haven't looked at enough 8K and 4K and side-by-side -side comparisons, but I don't think there's a tremendous jump there. I could be wrong. You guys can let me know in the comment section if you have seen those demonstrations side-by-side -side or watched any film on the 8K format yet. Um, but I've had my hand, my thoughts on this for quite some time. Shout out to Chris Morrow, man. He keeps, he keeps them coming. I think this is probably the second or third pickup I've done because of him and his wife letting me know, you know, this movie is probably worth your time. Go ahead and pick it up if you can find it for a great price. So like I said, man, shout out to you, Chris Morrow. You guys let me know, man. I will definitely give it some thought and think about picking up your uh, choices that you want to give me if you know I will have it in the collection. But nonetheless, man, let me show y'all what it is. We got Mortal Engines. Like I said, man, this is native 4K. Cannot go wrong. This is another Universal uh, Studios release. Usually, you guys, I rave about Sony, but I'm hearing Universal really bought it with this one, especially with it being shot in 8K, which I'm very surprised that, you know, a company is going to shoot something in 8K that they're not even sure is going to be a huge, huge, huge hit because I'm quite sure it takes a lot of money to invest in a lot to put into that 8K. But nonetheless, there it is, man. I actually like this um, slip cover. I actually wish, well, the Mortal Engines part, it is embossed across the front. Um, I love the little back shot. It looks a lot like, I don't even know the story behind this. I've never watched these films, but kind of looks like that Greek mythology type setting. Um, I really wish this um, scarf around her face was embossed. That would be pretty dope. Or if, you know, maybe a little bit darker so that red will pop just a little bit more. I would actually love this slip cover more, but this is actually pretty dope slip cover. So very happy with it, but unless let's take it to the spine. I really wish they would have embossed the spine too. That would be what well, actually it is. Wow. Didn't expect that, but we got an embossed spine. You got your Ultra HD 4K Blu-ray logo, and then you actually got a picture on the side. So like nice little touches on the slip cover. Um, like I said, Universal Pictures is the studio for this one. Same thing on this side of the spine, and it does have that Dolby Vision uh, color grading along with Dolby Atmos for those that are hooked up for that. But nonetheless, you guys, another one. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching another video with your boy 4KD Ray, man. Hopefully, maybe tonight, which today is Wednesday, tomorrow is Thursday. So either tonight or tomorrow, I do plan on going live. So you guys look out for that. Follow me on IG if you aren't already there. Hit me up. The IG is 4K.DRayMan. We go live on there at least once a week. 
love connecting with you guys. Leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you picked up this week. Did you take advantage of Amazon? Best Buy, everybody was trying to do deals to counteract for that uh, Prime Day deal. So let me know what you picked up. Did you only pick up Shazam? Are you happy with it? But nonetheless, man, it's your boy 4K D-Ray with another video. Thanks for watching. We 